I mean, I love animation. You know, I mean, when I was growing up, people used to say, you ain't a structural engineer until you've done moment distribution. You still know moment distribution? Do they still teach moment distribution? I don't know. But that's what they used to say. I say you're not a structural engineer until you've done animation. animation. Because animation, I tell you, it shows you. It shows you, it exposes structural behavior to you. Where is it? Yeah, this one. Look at this. I mean, uh, like this is from the FNA method. Like here, look, here's an earthquake coming. And you know, you go across and you come here and boom. Now, to do that kind of stuff in a step-by-step -step time history analysis, you know how small your time step has got to be? That is a high frequency. In, in, in the FNA method, it doesn't matter because it's all closed form. Everything is done c c because it, the modal equation is a single degree of freedom system equation that can be mathematically solved in a, in a closed form method. And uh, these are the kind of problems that you can do with that. Uh, uh, and then, uh, um, do we have the three frames handy? These are just small examples that, that you know, we just kind of kick together. But, but this is, um, even when we do that big structure, the, 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 um, the LA City Hall that I shot earlier, that's the same thing. You've got it done on Ritz vectors. Look at this thing. This is, these are all Ritz vectors. I mean, this is just to show. Look at the energy dissipation on these BRB things here. Nothing. You know, it's just all the energy being dissipated. And look at this sucker that has no energy dissipation going completely crazy, you know. But this is all FNA, FNA analysis and just, I mean, this, this solution takes like tens, not even ten seconds, five seconds to do, you know. It's, uh, um, and, it's, and it's extremely stable. Okay, can we go to the slides back, please? Oh, listen, before we go, before, as long as we're talking about animations. And, and, you know, animations, it just makes us look so hot, okay? I have to show you this one animation that we created on the 100th anniversary of the San Francisco earthquake. Uh, show me the Golden Gate Bridge thing. Does it have the music to it? We put music to this thing. I hired this one music guy, and it was picked up by John Stewart at Comedy Central, and they were like making fun. Hey, look at what these Californians are doing, you know? I mean, look at this bridge. All of those, you know. When, when people ask me what I do, you know, I don't tell them that I work for an architect and I just design a bunch of beams and create drawings. You know, you tell them that, that we create mathematical models of, compu of, of buildings and bridges and computers, eh? And we, we shake them with earthquakes, we blow wind on them. And the programs tell us which portions of the structure are going to break apart. So you can fix it before it's even built. Yeah? And then I look at you, oh my God, are you, are you some kind of a genius or what? You know? I mean, but I mean, that's what we do, right? We give a you know, plus or minus a little here and there. You know, seriously, but that's the kind of stuff that people need to know. Because this, this profession is so incredible. And, and the SEI, the Structural Engineers Institute, the structure, SE branch of, of ASCE, they've created a whole vision of what the structural engineer needs to be in the next 25 years. I mean, they have defined you guys as the king of the jungle. Seriously, you know, and it's amazing. And I, I think it's, it's actually going to happen because there are few things that need to be changed in our education process. And I think it's going to be wonderful, you know, because people, when they find out what we do, they can't believe it. It's just they just don't know, you know. And, and, and it's, I mean, I, I mean, let's face it. Like I said this morning, you're in the business of saving lives and you don't have to go far to find out the impact that our profession has over the whole world. 